No, where's his alter ego? His alter ego, Jeff. Is he going to hell if he doesn't believe Jesus Christ is his saviour? Yes. Yeah. There you go. Sharia law. Is he going to send but, me that? But am I going to kill him? No. But he's going to hell for eternity. Yeah, but I'm not going to kill him though. Under Sharia law, would he be killed? For, for, for what? Under Sharia law, would he be killed? Depends on which Sharia law. Your then, Sharia law. No, no. Right, what, what Sharia? Show, show me the book of Sharia okay, law. Okay, great, great, great. Let's talk about Sharia law. Great. What is it? Yeah. Sharia law is the, the creation of jurisprudence, of correct. fiqh. Correct. Thank you, it's correct. And there are many different kinds of Sharia yes, law, aren't there? Yes, sir. Thank you. So that means that when the Quran says, on this day I have perfected your religion for you and chosen for you the religion of Islam, the Quran is wrong. No. Well, when does Sharia law get created? With the Bible, just as you have with the Quran, probably the Buddhist section. Are you Buddhist? Or are you Buddhist? Wait, 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 bro, bro, yeah. talking to me. No, 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 I'm talking generally. You have scripture, scripture that filtered through humans, often men's perception, aligned with the social political situation. Now, people can twist scripture. If I want to hate someone, I can pull out a verse here, pull out a verse here. If I want to conquer someone, I can pull out a verse here, I can pull out the verse here. For example, the Crusades, they used a lot of the Old Testament when, when, it, was, when it was around to, to justify. The New Testament, it's very difficult for them to prove it. So, way. what's your name, bro? Uh, Hugo. Hugo, nice to meet you, Hugo, bro. Um, so, thank you for admitting that there's multiple different Sharia laws. Yes. Right? So in other words, in other words, right? In other, and, and, and the point is, these schools of fiqh, Hanafi, Maliki, Shafi, and what's the one? Ambali. Did I get that right, Ambali? These different are, 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 are methodologies of how you create fiqh. They have different methodologies, which is why jurisprudence, yes. So the point is, all of these schools emerge after Muhammad. If Muhammad revealed a perfect law, why is that perfect law changed and reinvented after Muhammad's death? Except for the fact that Sharia law that you follow is not from Muhammad. It's not from Muhammad. What is Sharia law? I've already told you. Sharia law is the product of fiqh. It's a jurisprudence. Yes, so, the product so of jurisprudence. It's done by men. Yes. So therefore, it is fallible. So therefore, so, it's not from God, no, is the, it? The Quran is from God. Right. We believe. So do we both agree Sharia law is not from God? Yes, we believe Brilliant. Sharia law is not from God. We uh, believe it is a product of the jurist great. Uh, interpretation. Brilliant. So we both agree yes. that Sharia law yes. is not mon monolithic, Correct. is not from Muhammad, um, Yes and no, because uh, there's in what way yes and in what way no? We believe the Quran is from Muhammad, and it's predicated. The Sharia law is predicated on the Quran, and often in the Sunni tradition, it's predicated on the Sunnah, which is generally the Hadith. Yeah. In the Shia tradition, it's often to do with their Imams, uh, and in the Fatimah. And are you Sunni or Shia? Just for Sunni. Sunni. Okay. Let Let's put the uh, Shia for one side and just talk Sunni. Okay. So we agree, therefore, that the Sharia law that Hanbali postulated, that Shafi postulated, that, that um, oh, memory, Maliki Han postulated. Hanbali, Hanbali, yeah. Maliki, yeah. Shafi, and... And they were just four of, there were millions of schools originally. Early, early years, yes, so hundreds, and it just settled on those so four. Basically, but the point so is... I'm just going to explain for second. the audience. No, 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 you're there talking many, to me. There were, so yes. For the audience, yes. there were many... We have the Quran, we have the Hadith, hadith. And, then, and, and it's Jewish minds. Right. So we have different schools in different areas that come out who interpret it. So that's usually yes. men. So, so, so that, that point therefore demonstrates that Sharia law is not perfect. Correct. It's not a perfect system. No. Great. So that means that when Allah says, this day I have chosen for you your religion Islam, can you have Islam without Sharia? Yes. You can have Islam yeah. without Sharia. So, with Sharia Go on, law, give me an is, example. This is why it's important to define give me an terms. So Sharia law can be in many different things. It's personal law. So for example, the five daily prayers, the, the fasting. They're not in the Quran. Hold on one second. 
Quran that, and Sunnah. We follow Quran. And right. Sunnah. Hold that's on. That's part of Sharia. Yeah. Right. That's part of Sharia. Those are the sources. We're talking about Sharia. This is Sharia. This, yeah, well, this is oh, where we well, disagree. This, right. this, is where, this is where I think we're wrong. So my point is, the Sharia is there's a personal law. The personal law is the five, for example, the five. How I, how much, how much uh, zakat do I give to the person? How, what if I own this much gold? How much do I have to give? Yeah, lot of things. These fee, are, fee. Yeah, and you go to a mufti, yeah, you go to a kadi, yeah. and they give you a thing. Oh, this is how a much fatwa. Give. A fatwa. Yeah. So, so the point is, here's my first criticism of Islam, right? Is that it isn't what it claims to be. You guys have been mis-selling Islam. You keep telling everybody that Islam is a perfect system when actually, and you, your criticism of the, the wait, wait, one second, one second. Your criticism of the West is that the West is man-made laws. But you've just admitted Sharia is man-made laws. Okay. Is so Sharia man-made law? It is man-made law. Yeah. Brilliant. So, let's so wait, one second. Just, just, so you, one second. One second, one second. So between Western man-made law, the fact that Western law is ontologically man-made, there's no difference because Sharia law is ontologically man-made. Are we agreed? Are we agreed? Great. So now we've established that it's man-made law versus man-made law. And here's the thing. If you look at when this Sharia is the perfect system for all times, all places, this, it's rubbish, this right? came out of Marxism. It came out, if you look at it, a lot of the time, when you look at the early 1920s, 60s, yep, yep. Through, through the in the Egyptian times where you know Al-Nasser, the brotherhood the brotherhood yeah. this came out and unfortunately it has infiltrated Muslim you are culture. impressively learned but about this this thing. makes a change there is there is lots of different opinions so when you ask a Muslim do you believe in Sharia law no Muslim will say no I don't believe in Sharia law because they're out of the fold of Islam yeah absolutely I believe in the five pillars so absolutely. you believe in man-made law yeah. I believe, yes, I know. I believe in the Quran and the Quran says that, yeah? Right, but hold on one second, one no, second. So, 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 no, you mentioned five pillars. Go on, yes, I'll let you land because yeah, you're being polite, go on. So, then after that, you've got the Sharia law of the medieval jurist that says conquer the dhimmis and all of that. That's all, I don't believe in that. Right, so, the, in terms of the sources, right, you mentioned about the five daily prayers, but yet, the five daily prayers is understood through fiqh, is it not? No. Yes. No, no. Yes. No, hold on. Hold on one second. No, you and I both know that three of the schools yes, of law yes. have a disagreement with the, the Hanbali. I think it's Hanafi or Hanbali. Hanbali fiqh around Salat versus the other three. There are differences in how to do Salat. Yes. How to do salah, but exactly. all, of them, all of them agree there's five daily prayers. All of them. All of them agree. Every single one. But so they we disagree about how to do it. How to do it. Whether you put Thank your hand you. here, whether you Thank put your you. hand there, whether, whether you have it down the side, that's, that kind of thing. But I don't see how that, in living in the UK, how that would. So what did you. Muhammad reveal? How, how did Muhammad? He prayed in different ways. Right. So you're saying that all of them are acceptable? Correct. Okay. In all of the legal schools. Yes based upon the hadiths right. let's come to the hadiths themselves because they are a creation of feek are they not the hadith collections are a creation of feek their place in is islamic yes they are yes but how do you how, how do you don't know some some hadith so hadiths are very disputed very early yes on. i know yeah. that you yeah. know that, right? Yeah. So the Hanafis didn't accept hadith that came on later on, uh, that, that say the Hanbalis. Yes. Within that, they've got different interpretations how to select the hadith. Yes. Some people say you can just, you don't, the actual words of the Prophet aren't yep. important, you can just, as long as you Yeah, they the have different methodologies. The methodologies. Yes, that's the point. Yes, we have different so methodologies. That's why there's disagreements. Now, early on Exactly. Islam, About one, one second. Yeah. Because they're, they, they're, their way of doing feek affects is directly affected by their view of the hadiths and which hadiths are they have a feek about the science of hadith sorry the science of hadith itself is feek yeah. and so the yeah, hadith rules, yes. exactly so the hadith corpus I have to go with the rules. in other words the hadith corpus was created by men yes. brilliant and it was formed by men so in other words Men so I don't get chose... and I don't get my head chopped off. Let me just be clear. Yeah? Now, unfortunately, a Christian would never have to make that no, statement. No, no, but let, let me just say that. Um, with the hadith, there are certain hadiths that go back straight to the... And the, you probably know Mutawatir, Ahad. Yep. But then there's disagreements on whether some go back, some, some don't Yeah, because of breaks so, in the chain. 
breaks in the chain. Yeah. So my, my thing is, if it corresponds with the Quran, it's fine. And that's the early Hanafi way. Whereas some people will say, actually, a hadith can go over the, 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 the Quran. And that's where you get the problem in. Yes, I agree. And an example of that would be Sahih al-Bukhari on the apostasy law going over the Quran. Yes. Because there is no apostasy law no in the Quran. Law. Exactly. You. Glad you said so, so what we've got is the fact that, and, and this is my chief criticism, is Muslims are telling us that we shouldn't follow Christian law, Western law, because it's man-made. But yet you're admitting that Sharia law is man-made law. Yes. It's man-made law. Yeah. So do you disagree with those Muslims? Let me, let me give you another point. Yeah. Even the early on in the Abbasid period, a lot of the admin system that came into Sharia law came from actually the back of med, back med, oh, back, oh, I forgot the name. They were the, uh, the, the rulers of Abbasids. No, Afghanistan, the Bar Mekids. Okay. They were Buddhists. So if you look at, and, and Hamza Yusuf has done an excellent paper, how Buddhism affected Islam. Yeah. We don't want to talk about this, but it was a joint collective kind of thing. So when we say Sharia law, it's a loaded term because... I, I know it is. And this is why I wanted to say to Jordan, qualify what you're saying. Yeah. Because I feel, like, I'm going to be honest with you, Bob, I feel like it is a bit scaremongery because if I'm, if I'm a non-Muslim, I don't know what Sharia law is. All I see is ISIS and Khalifa and that's what Then I get scared. Let me, let me reply, right? Because I, I sense in you a reasonable person. So, so let, 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 let's, let's take a step this way. Sorry guys, let me just, just pass by. I sense in you a reasonable person. Jordan is a reasonable person. But, but, yeah, he's, but, but basically, like, in, in terms of, in terms of skill, the, the kingdoms, the individual kingdoms, are equivalent for us to pass. So a Christian, a Christian state operates functionally in the same way as a pass does for you. Right? Okay, just, just let you know you're back in Italy. So it's a Christian Byzantine Empire, a holy empire. Now. Right now, there are states of Vatican. So that means I reduced the one as it were. Okay? Our, our Christian states, where they, when they exist, function, function, they're equivalent to matter. In that they look at Christian values, Christian beliefs, and they think to themselves using rationality. Yes. Yes. Right. So if we've established this equality, I, I want to get into the sources. Okay. Because I have a lot of problem with I have a lot of distrust of the hadith. Yeah. Again, so do I. Okay. So you're probably speaking right. to the wrong person. But no, 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 no. You're not a Quranist, though. No. No, I didn't think so. So in terms of in terms of in terms of in terms of the hadith literature, I have a lot of problems with whether we can trust it. Let me give you one example. There are clear fabrications in the hadiths. You know the you know the hadith of Heraclius. Yeah. Right. And in when Abu Sufyan went to Heraclius. Yes, Abu Sufyan. That's it. And and. In that hadith, if you read it carefully, the hadith claims to have knowledge of private correspondence between Heraclius and one of his advisors. I want to challenge, how the hell did anyone in that Isnad chain have access to the private correspondence? It's made up. It's made up retrospectively to show, so for example, the yep. Prophet peace be upon him in the Quran never claims to have miracles. Yes. Never. Yes. Within. 100 to 200 years, there's mad milk. He doesn't have a shadow. Yeah. Uh, all sorts. There's about two, three, five hundred miracle books that have come out. Yeah. So we know that. But then, the, then you have in Christianity what you call the simple believers. You probably heard of that term. It's a yeah, yeah, yeah. Term. You have simple Muslims. Yeah. They're just that follow. You follow the the imams. You do your the yep. basic prayers. Yeah. You know, you have the similar thing in Christianity. Our hadith is similar to what we see as your Bible. Yeah. So the Bible was an oral transmission. Yeah. And it came through to the apostles. If I correct me if I'm Yeah. Go on. And this is one of the things that I have problem with some of the hadith, not all, but some of the hadith, but also with some of the ways that the Bible is coming. Right. So, so let me let and I, and I, I don't want this to be a one-sided conversation. So I will welcome later 
Can I have a card of yes. the lady? Yeah, I will welcome uh, a conversation on my Bible because I want to be fair. Because unlike Jord Jordan is utterly wrong when he says I hate Muslims. I really don't. The reason why I come down is because I want Muslims to be saved. If I hated you, why would I want you in heaven? You see my point? Right? And well, with, I do, I with, with, I'm going to just say my criticism. I do feel like, and I know you make a difference sometimes. Sometimes you don't. Yeah, sometimes I slip sometimes up. Sometimes you don't. Sometimes, sometimes I slip up. slip up. And when you slip up, the problem is it can cause issues for like the lay Muslim like me yeah. or the basic Muslim like me. But there, there are, uh, you're absolutely right to say sometimes I forget to make those distinctions, but there's more than enough evidence and record of me making those distinctions that a charitable person would allow for that mistake. My other issue right? that Hold I on one second. You, uh, can we come back to the yeah, yeah, So here's my problem with the ISNADs. Yeah. Right, here, I've just given you an example and you agree that we've got a fabricated hadith. Yes. But it's a fabricated hadith that's called Sahih. Yes. It's yes. called a Sahih hadith. Yes. Yes. Let me give you a worse one. Yeah. The hadith of, G of Moses taking a bath and the stones run away with yes. his clothes. Yes. In, there's a, there's and he goes hadith, and beats up the rock. Yeah, and he beats up the, there's another hadith which... Um, He's doing my is, job for me. There's a, two monkeys, one monkey is stoning another monkey because yeah. that monkey is doing adultery. Yeah. yeah. It's madness. It's, it's nonsense and it's coming across and because it's Sahih, right. the lay Muslims, yes. won't, they won't say it's wrong because it's Sahih. Are you a lama? Are you an alarm? No, no, I just okay. read a lot of All right. history. So, so, so my point to you is, and, and you've made the point excellently, is that we have countless examples of ridiculous and clearly fabricated hadith that are being categorized as sahih. Now, if you've got sahih hadith that are ridiculous yeah. and fabricated, yeah. then how can we trust any hadith to be believable? Because remember, Imam Bukhari, he said that everyone in the chain had to have met, everyone had to be trustworthy, that the chain had to be a continuous oh, link. It gets worse than that. Right? I don't want to go into No, it, please, the whole Imam educate Bukhari me. Is, he, read, he wrote down the hadith many times, a long time after. Sometimes yes. Sometimes it wasn't even verbatim, it's from what he couldn't remember. Yeah. Then that copy came across two other copies. It's, anyway, it's going to be a No, long no, discussion. no, this is important. But here's the thing, the overall things, so you asked me a question, yeah. how do I know if a hadith is correct? My, the standard that we hold as early Hanafis, if it cor corroborates with the Quran, yeah. and if it goes with rationality. Right. So, so if it's some sort of like monkeys, yeah. killing monkeys. So what, what, what you're doing as an early Hanafi, is you're attempting to rework Islam. You're reworking the sources, you're re-sifting no, them. because here's the thing, let me just quote No, hold on one second, second. I don't... The Quran, we believe, comes from God. What's your name again? Uh, Hugo. Hugo, I, I will let you reply, Hugo. But, but I'm not being unfair, because when, Sahih, when Imam Bukhari gave his um, Sahih al-Bukhari, right? What we call Sahih al-Bukhari, that eventually fossilized in classical Islam. What you're attempting to do is a revision of the sources. So I'm not being unfair by saying that what you're doing in the 21st century is re-sifting the sources of Islam. That's what you're doing. Uh, what I would reply to that is, early on Bukhari wasn't the, the mainstream book. So there were six books, the Sahih Sitta, which is Imam Bukhari, Imam yeah. Sahih, Imam Muslim, Imam Abu Dawud, Imam Maja, um, I think there's one more as well, Imam Tirmidhi. So these become the current canonological. Other madhabs had a different canonological tradition. Yes. Other madhabs had different things. Exactly. Early Hanafis rejected many of the hadiths that you'll find yes. within that thing. No, no, no. Unfortunately, uh, it came about. I agree with here's where we do agree that the 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 Muhari and the Muslim that has become the mainstream Sunnah. Right. Yes. And so this is my point, is that. When it says in the Quran on this day, I have perfected your religion for you and chosen for you the religion of Islam. Was it perfect on that day or not? I believe it was perfect. Yes. Right. If it was perfect on that day, did madhabs exist? No. Did hadiths exist? Did the, 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 uh, the, the schools of theology, schools of Kalam exist? No. Right. So what you have after Muhammad died, after that revelation that said, on this day I have perfected your religion, is development. Yes. How do you develop what is perfect? Okay, so you need something, uh, so you have the overall book, 
it's how do you interpret yes that word i agree openly. that's the question yeah so people we believe and 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 in the hadith tradition uh, and in the live tradition the, allah says that as long as you try your best and you go in, and so for example there's a hadith where one the prophet sallallahu instructed someone and it, and one person believed what he said is pray beforehand yep. before that you get to the place yep. one person said no no that's not what the prophet meant pray after yep. they went back to the prophet and they said and he said both of them are correct yep so it's about having so with us the, the message of the quran is having faith yes and do righteousness yes those are the two clear messages and the day of judgment and the day of judgment. Yeah. and tawheed yeah, those are, Tawheed is, is yeah. obviously the most important. having faith in God. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then do righteous deeds. Yeah. Be a righteous person. Right. The problem what some later ulama they've added all of this other stuff to it. And that's the that's the point that I'm I making. I agree. But the lay Muslim is my belief that God will judge everyone according to what they know. Would it be fair to say, and I think it is fair to say, because you've defined yourself as an early Hanafi, that in some ways that you are an emergent. This, this would be an emergent new madhab. No, I, I, it's because, always been there. Because the Hanafi school, the Hanafi school, it, you're disagreeing. What you're basically so doing is you're disagreeing I'm with some of I'm the positions with, with, of Hanafi. Hanafi. Yes, exactly. So the early which Hanafi is not unheard of. Which is, Hanafi, is not unheard of. Imam Shaybani, uh, sorry, not Imam Shaybani, Imam Zuhur. They yep. believed in this. They believed right. in So there's a hadith that so, the Prophet, well, peace be upon him, um, got poisoned and then the actual meat spoke. And said, "Oh, yeah. Jewish woman. This was an anti-Jewish polemic. And the person who did yep. the research, they all, he looked at the hadith. And he said that this was a non-Muslim that put in, was made made up that hadith, and it got and, and it's in the story. just just for the record, Hugo. I really love talking to you. I love speaking to intelligent academic Muslims. So, but here's the point. Here's another reason. Here's another reason why we shouldn't. I, I've given you two reasons so far. Here's another reason why we shouldn't live under Sharia law. Why even you should reject Sharia law? Because all of these are reasons why you should reject Sharia law. Personal Sharia law, which is, I'll never reject that. Wait, right, but, but here's the thing. Is that you've got scholars of the same madhab using the same methodology coming up with contradictory conclusions. Yes, that's true. Right, so any system... You get one second. every religion though. Any, any, every wait, religion. One, no, no, no. Because remember, hold on, I'm going to show you why Christian law is better. Because in Christian societies, the, the nation serves as the madhab, right? And in one rule, in one kingdom, there's only one law, the rule of the king, right? But within the madhabs, what you have is you have one system with contradictory conclusions within the same madhab. And yes. any system that is that one second, any well. system that is self-contradictory mm. is junk. No, I, I think that that's where we disagree. I think. It depends. So within like law, like let's say the, the system that we have in our great country, yeah? You've got different judges that say different things looking at the same yep. kind of thing. Yeah. Effectively, those madhabs and those mushtahids, mushtahid, mutlaks, they are effective judges, but they are fallible. Yes. But if someone follows a ruling and they're a lay person, this is why I go back to the simple Muslim, they're going to be judged upon what they knew. Everyone's going to stand on the day of judgment. God's going to say, number one, did you believe in me? Number two, did you do good deeds? And then they will say, why did you do this? Oh, I, that person will have an excuse because my imam or my man have done that. Okay, cool. We'll give you that mercy. You know what I mean? That's what we believe in Islam. Whereas in, in Christianity, I can be a bad person. I can kill people. I can murder people. I can do the worst things. At the end of my life, I believe Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. And I'm going straight into it. Right. And if I don't, I go internally. Right. Into Hold on one second. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. Bro. Bro. That, no, bro. No, if I repent, well, if I repent, well, how do you know religion, religion, you can you know about kill anyone. You have to, you know, those Hold on, bro. The, the reason why all the Christians are upset is because what you're doing there, what you're doing there is playing on a characterization of Christianity. Okay. A char I am going to. A, a, a characterization. I asked someone down there, and that's what they said to me. A characterization that is based upon, um, that is based upon, um, you know, a Muslim stereotype of Christianity. I'm going to show you in scripture 
where you can't just keep sinning because you become a Christian. No, 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 I'm not saying keep sinning. I'm saying at the end of life, let's say I'm on my deathbed. Okay, yeah? yes. And I, and I repent. Yes. And I believe in Jesus Christ. And your repentance is genuine? Repentance is genuine. Oh, is then in that case, yes, you will be so forgiven. all of those bad things that I've done, yeah. I'm like, sinning more. Yeah. Yeah. Sin more. Wait one second. If I killed and yeah. murdered people, yeah. if I used people, if yeah. I hurt people. Let me ask you this question. I'm a sinner according to your religion right now. Am I not? God knows best. Right? Oh, come on, bro. I believe in the Trinity. Uh, right. If I, if, if say by some miracle you convinced me to take my Shahada right now and I took my Shahada, would all my sins be forgiven? Yes. So there's yeah, no difference the then. Wait, 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 wait. I don't necessarily Hugo, think you're going to hell. Hugo, let the me let The me difference is, you think I'm going to hell. I don't necessarily. I think... That I just, could go to heaven? No, I think you could go to heaven. And here's why. As a Christian? Yes. Okay, fair enough. Why. I get where you're coming and from. And, and I get where why. you're coming from. And it's not just me, Imam Ghazali says. Yeah, no, no, no. If I know Islam, this. I know this. You know this. Yeah. If Islam is presented to the mass people, which it is nowadays, as this Allahu Akbar, conquer the world, yep. every, all the... Throw the, throw the homosexuals off the world. Who's going to want it? As a Muslim, I'm embarrassed by something, something I see. If, we, if that Islam has come, you guys will probably have excuses on. But, however, God's also giving you an intellect and asked you to search. Is this the original message? And so, some people can't work it Let out. Let me ask you a question. Based on, your, based on your statements right now, do you condemn or do you believe that the early Muslims who invaded other people's lands oh. were wrong to do so? So there's, there's two parts. Just out of it. So there's two parts. I think the first, um, the first early, you say the first four caliphs, I think they were defensive. But here's the thing, this is where you won't get a lot of Muslims say that I'm well read. I don't think it was just Muslims. I believe it was a believing community. This is Dr. Fred Donner's. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and yep. this is what Robert Hoyland. I think there was Jews, Christians, and Muslims. And they're probably for you, they're probably. They were right. so, but, I believe those, yeah. but then I, to answer your question directly, then I believe there was a time of the Muslim Empire amongst the Umayyads and they went and they invaded and they used religion. So you believe the Abbasids were more a collective effort? I believe the Abbasids used religion just like the Umayyads okay. used religion. Fair enough. And they, they put all these hadiths yep. into circulation. So, to them so the thing is, I, I just want to say Hugo, <clears throat> the Islam that you're talking about, I can respect. The Islam you're talking about, I can live in peace with. There's, it would seem. Many of us. It would seem. It would seem. Yes. Uh, unless new information comes to light. So, so you know when people like you know when Jordan, because this is what he's going to do. He's going to put out a video that says, "I'm just against Muslims. I'm a Muslim hater." Right? But, I want. Wait, wait one second, Tuo. I want you to remember that I've said to you that the Islam that you're describing, I could live in peace with. But, but the point is, Hugo, you're not a typical Muslim. 1400 now and here's here's my challenge to you because it seems to me you're essentially saying that the vast majority of muslims for the vast majority of history have been getting islam wrong i would say listen islam is you're a wonderful been, person islam has always developed uh, when we say islam quote unquote, yes not one islam there's been many multiple islams multiple, multiple sharia laws yes absolutely. yes absolutely and there's always there's people in times like listen this is post-colonial time so you're gonna get harsh muslims and you're gonna get the imams that mislead them and quote things and stuff like that we have a responsibility as muslims now and it's not just me there's a whole lots of them. people are either leaving islam and this is the truth or they're coming to rational things and they're looking for so when you i was i've researched this for like a long time yeah, yeah. and that's why i'm a bit more you know interested and i like history yeah. and i like i history. think i think me and you could have a lot of intelligent conversations and i would hope and we, i don't think and, and i would like to keep up the dialogue with yeah, you and sorry, to keep talking you. Yeah, but, but, but what I want you to do. Wait, 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 Hugo, one, one second. One, one thing. When, wait, wait. With, with Jordan, yeah. he did, I feel that I don't want him to be misrepresented. Yeah? So He's I, misrepresenting no, me, no, bro. But I, I don't feel like he fully said what he's, he wanted to say. I don't think, I think he's also a fairly new Muslim. And I think sometimes. He's been he, a Muslim for years. Yeah, but. He does dawah. Yes. He does dawah. But you've got to be careful because I don't want him to get hate through it. Because you know there are some people that will attack him. Jordan, like... Jordan wants me to be a second class citizen. Jordan wants me to live under apartheid. Jordan wants me to be subjugated under the Muslim I community. Have a word with him. I don't think that is the No, case that is, one. it honestly is. I'm convinced of that. Be wise. From, from the way you answer the question. But before you go, before we finish, 
because this was a good and intelligent conversation. I said I would allow it to, I wanted it to be two ways because I didn't want you to think yeah, it's just about me yeah. criticizing Islam. Are there any questions or comments yeah, you want to make about Christianity so that I can... for me, when I read the early Bibles, yeah, yeah. they were written by... Historical criticism says we don't know who the early authors, they were anonymous. Yeah, yeah liberal, liberal academics say that, yeah. Okay, so I want to get your point. And you don't have... The first Bible, the first full Bible was probably what Mark... Uh, the no, first, well, the first, first full Bible... When you mean the Gospel? I think the first full Gospel. Your terminology is a bit yeah, mixed up. The first full Bible was 200 years after. The nope. first full Mark was P45. The first manuscript, the whole manuscript. So the first... The first full Bibles that we have are the Sinaiticus and the Vaticanus that you can find in the British Library. When were they dated? Uh, fourth century. That's a long time after. Yes, it was. But not as long, not as long as Sahih al-Bukhari was. At. The, the earliest manuscript of Sahih al-Bukhari is centuries, Listen, centuries that, after Sahih al-Bukhari. Wait, 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 know? wait, think that through. The earliest full copy of Sahih al-Bukhari that we have is centuries after Sahih al-Bukhari and Sahih al-Bukhari was centuries after Muhammad. So it's a much okay. worse picture but in the Islamic I'm, world. What I'm saying, I'm talking about the, the word of God. Yeah. When the earliest Bible that we have... The earliest full Bibles that we have, to my knowledge, come from the fourth century. There's a really good reason for that. Which is, in the first century, as I'm sure you know, because you sound like an educated man, people wrote on papyri, yes. right? But by the time of the 7th century, and certainly by the time of the 9th century, when Imam Bukhari, uh, 8th century, when Imam Bukhari was writing, people weren't writing on papyri, they were writing on animal skin. Yes, animal skin lasts. Yes. So it's actually a, a far more, uh, it's a far bigger question to, uh, to explain why despite the fact that the Islamic world had an empire and people were writing on animal skills and Muslims were the ones in control that you can't find any copies of Imam Bukhari from the time of Imam Bukhari. Well, I, want to talk, I want to talk about the right? Gospels. Let's yeah. just stick, if we could just stick okay. to that topic. So, so the first reason why we don't have full copies of the Bible is because they was wrote on oral? papyri. Was it all, were they no. orally transmitted? No. No, Christianity is... A, I'm inviting you to a very different religion. Christianity was not... An, it, so the similar to the hadith, I suppose. So the message, the message of the Christian faith, was initially started as an oral message, and you oral. see that biblically. Yeah. Yeah. So for Luke, for instance, states, you know, in my, he states that I have, you know, I am writing an orderly account of all the things that have occurred amongst us, so that you might have the certainty of what you believe, Theophilus. So in other words, Theophilus believed these things before Luke wrote about them. Right. So, but the generally historians say Mark came first, sixty. Then we have Matthew and Luke, Matthew, and the debate okay. about Matthew and then, Luke, and then John, and then John 90, later. Yes, yes. That, right, that's, that's the, that's the general. But we don't have the full manuscripts. We don't have the first manuscripts, but we don't have the first manuscript to the Quran right. either. Yeah, I right. Can see that. But but how do we know that that was written? And because, by Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. So, for example, Luke. Let me give you uh, why yeah. I asked this question. Marcion had a different Luke to what we have yeah. for now. He had an edited version. Marcion... That's debated. No, Ma no, Mar no, no, it's not. It's not debated. Marcion, Marcion is, is accused by other church fathers of editing the New He's Testament known by the church. And there's other church so, scholars that say he had the original Luke. No. And it's, it's a debate. Would you accept there was a debate about it? I would say it's a debate between... I would say your position is stronger. I would say it's a debate between those that know and those that don't. Mm. That's what I would say okay. is. Because Marcion was accused by other church fathers of redacting the New Testament that the church knew. Which meant that people were saying, hey, that's not the same gospel that we've got. So in other words, it is a, it is a contemporaneous accusation. Right? Now, to the question of authorship, which I think, yes, is that right. where you're yes, going? Please, yeah. yeah, okay. So to the question of authorship, why, do, why can you be confident that Matthew wrote Matthew, Mark wrote Mark, and Luke wrote Luke, and John wrote John? Here's why. First piece of evidence. Every, all manuscript evidence that exists, that has that page on it where it says the gospel according to, all of them, universally and unanimously, all say Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, right? Secondly, if it was something that was just being invented by, by Christians, right? What you would have is competing claims. 
You know, in one part of the world, it might say Matthew, Mark, Luke and John, but in another part of the world, it might say Matthew, Mark, Luke and Thaddeus, because Thaddeus was an apostle, right? So, but that doesn't occur. There is no competing claims in any church anywhere about who wrote Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. Wait, I'm, I'm like, I've still got some more evidence. Thirdly, thirdly, in terms of the, in terms of the, if you were going to make it up, right? You could do better than saying Luke and Mark because Luke wasn't an apostle, Mark wasn't an apostle. You would, you, if you were going to make it up, you'd want to link your invention to the apostles because it makes Luke it more legitimate. Luke, was Luke close to uh, Paul? Paul. Yes. And, and Mark was close to Peter? Yes. yes. Right. So if you were going to make it up, you, 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 you'd, you'd invent some apostles. So there's your third reason. Now, the... I, I suppose we can safely say they probably spoke Greek. Who? Luke, Luke certainly spoke like Luke, Luke was yes. educated. Yes, Luke, Luke spoke Greek. I, I and his, the point. And his okay, gospel the is Matthew, in high Greek. Matthew and um, John. Yeah, yes. John is the one I have a real problem with. Right, but, but wait, I, I just want to land on this point about why we yes, can believe. Please. The only way, bro, that you can achieve this kind of universal agreement Bear in mind, they didn't have the communication devices that we do, so there's no possibility of conspiracy, is if the tradition about authorship is so early in the development of the church that as the church spread, that tradition spread with it. And that's the only way you can explain the universality of the agreement about Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. But John, John is the one I really have because John. from my understanding, John was written from what scholars say is it's not just one person that's written it. You can see in the language, it's more, it's almost like sayings of Jesus, and it's very gnostic if we look at like some. some I wouldn't of, say gnostic, but I get where you're going. I get like, where you're you know, going. The light yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. So and, he, and scholars have now said that it's probably written by three different people at a period of time. No, some scholars say that. What do you it's think? not. It's not all scholars. Do you scholars. think it was actually the Apostle John who probably lived in Galilee? Or that, or that we do? No, I, I suspect the actual Author. writer yes. was probably someone within John's community. And so, so John, this. They call it Johnny. John I. Yeah. So it was John was preaching. John was talking, and other people were writing, and that's why you get that weird blip at the end of the gospel, where it talks in the third person about the author. Can you see how... Does that make sense? Yeah, that does make sense. But can you see how... I have doubts on the Hadith because I'm not sure if they go back to the Prophet Muhammad. Yeah. All of them, some of them, and if they're aligned with the Quran. But can you see why I would have the same thing? This is the word of God going back. If I don't know John is right, I don't know uh, Lucas. But here, here's... Well, here's the point. I, I've given you good reasons to, to, to say that you do know. Because remember, where you're using... I think you're projecting backwards a modern concept of authorship. Authorship didn't mean that your hand touched the paper. Authorship just means that what, what appears on the paper originates from you. And I just also want to point out that it was quite normal in the first century that whoever, in the classical period, not to write the author on the document. Yeah, but they were called and pseudo. They're, no, 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 called, no. They're, they're, hold on one second. That was a scene hold on, as hold on one second. That's hold on one second. The, the... the no. Pseudo hubris. They would have seen it as arrogant to put their own name on it. They would have put the I agree. I agree. But then at the you're same missing. Time, you're going to miss a good point. Stick. Sorry, I'm, I'm going to let you land. But yeah, go on. I also understand that if you didn't put your name on it, they could see it as pseudo, which also for some people that meant fabric. Pseudo, pseudo is a modern term. It, it, it was. It is quite normal for authorship in the Roman world to be applied after the document applied backwards and we see that in the in the in the writings of the lives of the caesar i can't remember what the author is called but the authorship of the right the writings of the lives of the caesars was ascribed far after centuries after that book was written right but no one disputes the authorship the only reason why they dispute the authorship of matthew mark and luke and john is because there are people that want to fight against Christianity. They don't apply the same standards to other Roman documents. All our knowledge of Socrates, all our knowledge of Plato doesn't come from Plato's own hand or Socrates' own hand. 
but yet no one no one turns around and says Socrates didn't say that Plato didn't say that Aristotle didn't say, nobody does that they only apply this standard when it comes to Jesus. But there's a reason for that. And the reason because we, you guys believe it's the actual word of God. So the standard has to be higher therefore. Right. right. So, so let's come to that. We, as a Christian, I have a different concept of word of God than you. So as a Christian, I believe that the Bible is a man written book. Every word of the Bible is the word of a man. That's really interesting. So, do, does that mean that? Go on, explain that. Right. So, what we believe is we are, there's a term in the New Testament that's used by Paul in 2 Timothy 3:15, where it's we translate it as God breathed. Another way you could say it is God inspired. Right. Our concept of inspiration is different from your concept of kalam. Right. We believe that the Spirit of God using the full faculties of the human mind and the full imagination of the human mind and the full reason of the human mind inspired a human to write down in his own words what God was doing, how God wants us to live and who God is. So it, every, so it is fallible. Right. So in the sense that I don't make, we, the Bible doesn't make a, the claim that the Quran does about itself. So the Quran says, if this was from any other than Allah, they, meaning people yeah, like me. They'll find many contradictions in it. Exactly. The Bible never makes that claim. It says the law of the Lord is perfect. I affirm that. But that's the law. The Bible isn't a history book. It isn't a geography book. It isn't a book on the geology. the stories are real in the Bible about Noah, Moses? So the stories, all, I believe every part of the Bible is true. But not every part of the Bible needs to be read as literally true. Do you think it could be parables? Like, there's definitely parables I, in the Bible. No, I know there's parables. Do you think that Jesus is, is telling a story about Moses? But it doesn't have to be no, I believe, true. No, I believe that Moses really existed. No, I mean, but I'll give you an example. I don't believe Job really existed. Okay. I believe that the book of Job is a parable like the parables of Jesus. It's an inspired parable to teach a lesson. Teach a lesson. That's yeah. Very interesting. Right. So that's that's kind of like my position. Oh, we're both interesting one another now. So like. No, it's very right. Because yeah. I believe the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam the same thing that you said. It came down. Yeah. And it was a filter. He was the purest filter from the divine book, what we call the Kitab. So do you believe that the Quran is the words of Muhammad? I believe it is the. the it seems her heretical to say that, but it's definitely come through the. The mind, like you said, like the way you described it, it's come and people have written that down. Yeah, but what the difference is, it, the Islamic position, and you might have, you feel free, you but your, your position is that it was Allah's words to the angel Gabriel, to Muhammad, to the scribes. And it's a one-to-one -one copy, a quotation like, yes. Yes. but that's not our understanding. Our understanding is that the Spirit of God inspired the hearts and minds of men to write in their own words. See, that's where we differ. So every part of it is true. Every part of it is profitable for correction, for teaching in, right, teaching in righteousness, so that the man of God might be equipped for every good work. But I don't treat it like a well, scientific see, textbook. I see, because the Quran describes uh, Jesus, peace be upon him, as a messenger, I would presume a messenger comes with a message as opposed to a prophet that comes with it. Yeah. I would say the same thing probably happened. The Spirit of God, meaning what we call Rohan Qut, and it mentions that in the Quran, Sorry, the Spirit. Which is Gabriel, not the angel Gabriel, Gabriel according to the Quran. Yeah, perhaps. But, well, but, no, the Quran, no, no, the Quran makes a distinction between the angels and the Ruh. Yeah. So if it makes a distinction between the angels and the Ruh, then... That, that would be a long debate, but there is there's a few different opinions on that. Okay, but uh, do you agree with me that the Quran, in a, there is a verse in the Quran where it makes a distinction between the angels and the Ruh al yes, Thank you. But it comes to Jesus Christ, people, and through his inspired and beautiful mouth, he's preached some yeah. things. Then it becomes written down, so this is where we would probably disagree. You're saying they're inspired to write it down, Whereas we would say, well, they're humans, they've written it down. Right. So that's it. This is what I'm kind of grappling with. So, so, so the point that I'm saying is that for us as Christians, the message is more important than the words. Right? The message is more important than the words. Correct. Which means that when you get these textual variants in the New Testament manuscripts, or when you get different canons or something like that, these, aren't, these are important questions, certainly, but none of them are knockdown questions for us. But as you know and I know, there are different Qur'ans. 
See, I would say a very similar thing. If the Prophet peace be upon him had this message has come and, and yeah. he's spoken, and we know that the Prophet Muhammad said uh, certain, so he's spoken in a certain way, people interpret that because now we've got language. Language is interpreted, so you have different what we call codexes. I don't like calling them Quran. They call codexes. You have different codexes. Muslims up until recently, I said, oh, this word for word, like no one made this claim in the history apart from when it maybe like goes back to the 1920s. Yeah. Word for like, word, dot for dot, letter for letter. Yeah, it's pure Dawaganda. Pure well, Dawaganda. Do we agree it's Dawaganda? 100%. There you go. And early Muslims never said that. Yeah, yeah I agree. They never and did. That's a total lie. Qurans. Yes, absolutely. We knew, like, when I say cold, I'll prefer John, but I don't like calling them Qurans because I believe there's one Quran. Yeah. yeah. They're different codexes. Yes. He's not undoubtedly the words are different. Yes, thank you. Yeah, absolutely. We don't, we don't think. But are again, you Muslim, you yeah, yourself, Muslim. Okay, right. But yeah. the meaning, the meaning is not different. Right, hold on one second. In terms of the overarching meta-narrative of the Quran yes. and the, the, the primary themes of the Quran, yes. I absolutely 100% agree every Quran everywhere in the world all says the same thing. Yes. Right, but in the particular localized verses and stories, there are differences. Some of those are very significant. So for I'll give you two examples. So in one Qirat, the reading of the Quran says, and this is Allah speaking, I was amazed. In another Kirat, this is still Allah speaking, he says, they were amazed. And that's the same verse. And there's a huge difference between I was amazed and they were amazed. Another example, second example, and I'll let you reply. The second example is in one Kirat, it says that the prophets or the messengers, I'm not quite sure, that they died in the cause of Allah. In another Kirat, same verse, same context. He's saying that the messengers or the prophets, I'm not sure which bit, says that they fought in the word, the way of Allah. Now, there's a difference between dying and kill, dying and fighting, and there's a difference between I was amazed and they was amazed. They can't both be true. No, and uh, listen, I, I, I probably, I, I haven't looked into it. You've asked me that. I, I don't really have an answer to that. Fair enough. I look into that. I don't want to speak out of ignorance. Okay, but, that's fine. But I agree with you. There's no major difference. I would say there's... Yeah, the, para the, the paradigm is the same. You get a Warsh Quran or a Hafs Quran, it's basically... But do you, do you recognize that that's the same with the Bible? See, the Bible, this is, and this is going back. See, number one, I don't know if the Bible that we have goes back to the beautiful message of Jesus Christ. And I'll tell you why. I clearly believe it was Pauline. I think it was a Pauline doctrine. Yep. Paul came first, the, the, the Paul's uh, early letters, the 15, is it 50 around about? They're the earliest documents. 50, 50. 50. So we should read the Bible really with Paul's letters first, work backwards to John. That's how I prefer to read the Bible. Because then you can see, I don't agree with the Muslim position that, oh no, um, there's no Trinity in the Bible. It's there. Yes. It's absolutely like. Let me shake your hand yeah. on that, bro. Thank you very much. And, but what I believe is that these people <coughs> back projected it to meet the Old Testament. So, so the same Saviour, Isaiah 53, loads of other stuff. I could go into it. I think that they back projected it. I don't believe, my, as a Muslim, I am not convinced the Bible we have to. I think there is certainly divine messages. Yep. I, I've said this before, I was able to have the shop with the Quran because I believe there is, I respect the Bible. And anyone that ever tried to find my Bible, I'd have a go, I wouldn't let them do it. Basically, yep. yeah? Let's keep it so so let, let, me, let me reply to that. Because you, you, you made some important points and I think they need to be addressed. If you're saying that the Bible is a Pauline message, then that means that we Christians stand secure. Because we Christians believe in Paul. And if you accept that we have the same message that Paul preached, then we have the pure message of the Christian faith. We have no problem with that. Either that Paul himself was inspired and in cohort with the other apostles who knew Jesus. Now, let me finish. In response to this idea that the New Testament is not the beloved message of Jesus, I'm just going to flip it on you and say that whilst we do have overwhelming and substantial evidence of the, the, uh, uh, the, the early Christian message, which you've also referenced through Paul, right? We have absolutely zero evidence ever of an Islamic Injil. Now, the thing is, the Quran states that Allah 
would ensure that the followers of Isa would be victorious over their enemies until the Day of Judgment. But yet the entire message of the Injil has been completely lost. And it seems to me, bearing in mind that we have knowledge of the Ebionites and we have knowledge of the Nazarites and we have knowledge of the Essenes and we have knowledge of the Pharisees and the Herodians and the Samaritans and we have knowledge of the, uh, the Manichaeans and we have knowledge of the worship of Jupiter and we have the knowledge of Celsus and the knowledge of the Gnostics and all of that that with, if we have all this evidence the very fact that we don't have any knowledge of any in Islamic angel or any Islamic communities tells me peace be you David tells me this tells me tells me that the Quran is simply making something up no, because if you read the Quran and if you read it like it, I struggled this my, when, I, when I read the Quran myself as critically one level it says in the last surah that the, the Jews, the Christians, the Sabians, there's no the, the community of believers, there's nothing upon them, the Jews are just saved. They're saved. That's one of the last surahs. But then in another verse, it's clearly against Trinity. There was definitely more than one Christian group attending. So my understanding, and I'm, I'm still developing this. In my Sorry, which, which, what, what? So I believe there was a community of believers Go on. who believed in one God, who didn't believe in the Pauline message, who came from James the Chief, the brother of the Lord. They're talking about the Ebionites. Not just the Ebionites, the Nazarenes, but there was also, there was also, you probably know this better than I, there was the family of Jesus Christ that were the head of churches up until... Family. James was the head of the church no, in there Jerusalem. Was actually a family, it begins with D, I've got it in my phone. Right, you, you, right hold on. This will go into another conversation. You'll need the sources for this. You'll need the sources I'll, for I this. I need to have a long Yeah, you need to have the sources. But, in a nutshell, without having the sources, just in my opinion. Fair enough. There was you weren't two, expecting that question, that's fine. There's two different Christianities. There's one that the Quran is against, which is the Trinity. And there's one that they, I believe there was a community. I believe they were part of the believers' movement. I don't think, and I genuinely believe that the believers, right. we say Muslim yep. without the capital M. I, I just and want to check. The Quran says that Jesus was a Muslim. Do you include the Ebionites in that group? I think there was a sect within the Ebunites because right. some of the Ebunites have got... You're, you're, right, brother, you're Hugo. But, but you had the police. I can tell you're making a lot of emendations here, yeah. right? I would need to look into what you're basing those emendations on. But, but what I would say, bro, what we do know about the Ebionites is that they denied the virgin birth. Not all of them. All of them. No, 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 no. Oh, let, me, let me finish. Let me finish. Okay. They denied the virgin birth, they believed in the crucifixion, they believed that Jesus was the Messiah, and that they believed that he was elevated to a divine status. Right? So, so hold on one second. So hold on one second. So if we're looking for an early Muslim group, that's not the Ebionites. It's not the Ebionites. There's two groups of Ebionites. One that absolutely denied the... Um, uh, yes, I know there were di and distinct there second, groups. And there was a second group that believed in The virgin birth. The virgin All Ebionites believed in the crucifixion. And here's the thing about the crucifixion. The Quran is not clear on this. Let's be clear about this. Yeah, yeah. But All Ebionites believed in the crucifixion. This is what, what the Quran says. They said they crucified him. They crucified him not. Yeah. That's, some Muslim interpreters have said he was crucified. And who's they talking about? They were talking about the Jews. Yes. And the language is very. So, so who this 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 interpretation that Christ was crucified, as you know, was popularized by Ahmed Didat. Right? It's Ahmed Didat that popularizes this no, I, did idea. He, did, he, did he not say that the face was, I don't believe in the Simon of Serene theory where uh, his face was changed. Ahmed Didat popularizes this idea. Right? There's, Classical Muslim scholars like Ibn Kathir say that Christ was replaced by someone who looked like him. Yeah, right? In other words, that he wasn't crucified. That he wasn't crucified. But the point is, if Jesus Christ wasn't crucified, there is no resurrection. Right. But then that leaves you with a mystery, which is how do people come to be convinced that a man is dead Bearing in mind that now he's really dead and he doesn't come back to life, become convinced that he has come back to life. So whatever we say about the crucifixion, you have to account for the resurrection. And I don't think your story can account for the resurrection. Go on. Here's why I think I can. 
earliest the Christian Gospels that we have it, they're written by very educated people. So we have people like Luke, very educated, high level quite in Greek. Yep. You have uh, in fact, they're all written in Greek. Would, you, would we agree on that? Yes. All Greek. Matthew was originally written in Hebrew, though. So we have to look at the context of the people who, who knew Greek. They were generally Hellenized Jews. Or they could have just been Gentile Christians. Potentially. But they're generally, those people who knew how to read, because they were most, most of the people in like they were. Uh, I'm, I'm not saying 100% that they weren't. Greek speaking people, but the level of the way that they've written in the Gospels is very, very small. Bro, I got to go in four minutes. Okay, I've so just looked at we'll my carry this one. If you look at some of the, the, the narratives within the Bibles, so for example, Mark, verbatim, verbatim is Homer's Iliad. Homer's Iliad, verbatim, and I can show you this. Obviously, you haven't got time now. We'll, we'll sit down. You've got my card. Yeah. I, this was a wonderful. Uh, forgive me for what stopping. I'm saying, what I'm saying. Uh, Let, let's, let's talk let's, about. Yeah. Let's talk about this claim. Because they knew. Um, let's talk about this claim. Because they had to study Homer. They had to study. You understand. You understand the Quran takes other people's stories verbatim, like the Seven Sleepers, which is just a rip-off of the the. the, the, the or, for instance, Saint Ephraim's descriptions of paradise as a garden. Or, for example, the story of Dulcain. Or, for example, uh, or, or for example, or for example, um, or for example, the, the Talmuds like Solomon and Bathsheba. Or the Gnostic Gospels, the creation of the pigeon. I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm just pointing out. Right, bro, Hugo, I really do have to go. I'm not trying to be awkward. You have my card. I really, really would love to talk to you again. Have you got a Bible? Yes. Here's my gift to you. Have a lovely day, Thank you. and remember when. Well, remember when. Uh, I was actually going to buy one this week. Well, now you don't have to. I'll save you a bit of money. So just remember, bro. When people accuse me of hating all Muslims, you decide if, in our interaction, you think I hate all Muslims. No, 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 but just like, just be careful. I'm okay. Say. God bless you. You look after yourself. Let's talk again. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I'd love to hear your. I'd love to see this about the whole. I'm like online, but it's good to have. Let's talk. Lovely to meet you, Hugo. You you have a great evening. God bless you.